welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to be making chicken nihari. Now I make my nihari a little bit differently but it also kind of takes people by surprise so I hope you guys like it. So let me show you um, how I make it and um, let's discuss what we're going to need here. Um, with the nihari, I'm also going to be serving it, serving it with um, uh, pickled cucumbers. So I'll show you what we're going to need for the pickled cucumbers. But I have a whole chicken here that I have um, cut up and cleaned. So um, that's the chicken. And then I have some ginger and garlic. Now I use the shan masala, the nihari shan masala but I don't put anywhere as much as they tell me to put because I don't eat, we don't eat spicy foods. So the nice thing about spice is you can add as much or take out, you know, upon your taste. So if I add, add let's say if I say I add a tablespoon and you wanna add four because you eat really spicy, it's really not gonna hurt my feelings. Go ahead and add as much as you like. Um, so I've got the, we're gonna be using that. Now if any of you cannot find shan masala anywhere, um, which I think it's available everywhere, but if you really want the masala, uh, the masala that goes into the Nihari, um, email me or um, Facebook me under Rihanna's Cuisines and email me on rihannascuisines at gmail.com and I'll send you the uh, recipe for the spices that you make at home. We're also going to be using one fresh lime. I have two tablespoons of white flour. We're going to use that to thicken up our um, gravy for the nihari. I have some salt and then I have some water here that we're going to be mixing here with the flour to make the roux. Um, and then I've got a, um, a fresh ginger here that's going to be for our garnish. And I've got fresh cilantro here that's also going to be for our garnish. We're going to be using about half a cup of um, canola oil. I don't like using olive oil in this because um, the temperature does go up because we are going to be frying one whole onion. Um, so this is the only reason why I don't use canola oil in this. And then as far as our pickled cucumber has to go out, we're going to be adding some um, onions in there, some lime, some fresh baby cucumbers, some fresh, um, oh, and some vinegar, splash of vinegar and cayenne. So first let's get started with frying the onions. And there's a reason why we're gonna start that step. Um, the reason why I like to fry my onions first, and the onions are only gonna be for garnishing. So. Um, we're gonna be using we're gonna be using this oil to actually make our nihari that's what's different about my nihari is that I use the oil that we have for our onion that's left over to make the nihari and that really gives it a really distinctive flavor um, so let me go ahead and what I'm gonna do with these onions is I'm just gonna um, slice them up thinly matter what size or I mean it doesn't matter what shape or anything that you decide to do it, it's just gonna be for garnishing so I'm just gonna slice this up real quick and once our oil heats up we're gonna add the um, onions in there and the thinner the onions the uh, faster they're gonna fry and get crispy. all right so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna Make sure that I've got those not very thick slices here just so that it kind of goes fast. All right, now we're just gonna add that slowly to our oil. And if you don't like garnishing it with a lot of onions, you know, you can cut down to half, it's fine. I just, I love onions and it's so good for us that I feel like why not? So we're gonna fry these up until they're really nice and golden brown. So I've got, look at the onions here, they're fried really, really nice. And you don't wanna get them too dark because they're gonna get bitter. So we're gonna take these out. And 
and we're just going to use these onions for garnish. You don't have to use the onions if you don't want. I just um, these onions are um, sweet Vidalia onions, and they're just so sweet that um, it just adds to the nahari. So if you if you have like really good onions and you want to use it for the top, then you can. Okay, so basically what has happened is the oil is been, has been flavored with the onions and that's what is different about my Nihari because I just, I love the um, taste of the, and I don't like storing my oil so like, um, that's why, you know, if we were to fry these onions and um, then I wouldn't know what to do with the oil. And that's how this recipe basically started with me was, you know, once I just I don't like storing the oil, so I thought, let me just use the same oil and it actually turned out really, really good. So, all right, so I've gotten all the onions out. I'm going to put this on the side because that's what we're going to use for garnishing. Now the oil is nice and hot. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add our ginger and garlic. Be careful, it might splatter. Okay. We're just gonna cook this just for a little bit. Again, making sure that we don't burn it. Okay, now to this, I am also going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of the Nihari mixture. Now I add it to the oil, and I'm sprinkling it very slowly. That's why I hope you don't think I'm adding like half a packet in there, but. So, and I like frying the Nihari mixture because it really brings out that spice. The whole house just starts smelling like you've been slaving all day making this nahari. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it up to temperature. So we've got our um, spices frying here. I'm gonna go ahead and add our chicken. And I usually um, clean my chicken with like some vinegar and um, soak it in the water just for five minutes that way I know all the impurities are out. <laughs> so we've got some really, really good spices going on here. Okay. Now we're just gonna turn this around until you see that the chicken is a little bit brown just like so okay okay now we're gonna cover this and we're gonna let this cook just until the chicken is cooked through. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our, our roux. So let's go ahead and make our roux here. To make the roux is, I have about two tablespoons of flour here. And I'm just gonna add about half a cup of water. We're gonna give this a good mix. making sure that we have a lump-free mixture here. Okay. We're gonna keep this aside and we're gonna wait until our chicken, and you know, in about, you know, in another five, 10 minutes, Come back and just kind of um, flip your chicken, making sure that you know the bottom doesn't burn. Now, while my onions were 
cooking, I went ahead and I cut up my cucumbers and I just did the onions um, where they were, they're not completely finely chopped, but semi, cause you know, you, you, it's like a, it's like a pickled um, cucumber. So I kind of want that sweet onions to come out. And now what I'm going to do is you want to do, do this about 20 minutes earlier because you want the um, cucumbers to really marinate with the onions. And that's why I call it pickled cucumbers. And I have it more in a smaller plate, so the marinade kind of holds together really well. And for this, I really recommend using fresh, either lemons or limes. But fresh really makes a difference in this one. I know the bottle stuff is, it, it will work, but you'll really, um, taste the freshness and with the Nihari it really balances off kind of cools it down and now I'm going to go ahead and just add a tad bit of vinegar in there maybe about fourth cup of vinegar let's go ahead and stir this To this pickled pickles, we're going to add some salt. And that's about it. And let me just grab another, I'm just going to mix all this together. Now if you have some baby, organic baby tomatoes or really sweet tomatoes, it would go great with it. It would also add a beautiful color to it. I ha don't have any in the house, but if you have any in the house or, you know, if you're planning to make this, you can tell very much that I was planning to make this, but um, I wasn't. So that's why I don't have any tomatoes in the house. But if you want, you can even like uh, dice them in for the little small ones, and it's really gonna give you a really nice vibrant color. So we're just gonna leave this to marinate. So by the time our Nihari is done, our pickle, uh, pickled cucumbers will also be ready. All right, so it's been about exactly 20 minutes and our chicken is completely done. And I just came in between like four or five times and just kind of turned it. And when I press it, there's juices oozing out of it. And there's completely white inside so I know it's already done so at this point what we're going to do is remember the roux that we made with the flour and um, water we're going to add that in there and then we'll see if we need to add more water we'll add it as <coughs> as we have to so I'm going to turn that to high okay I think we're gonna need a little bit more gravy in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and add just, and the gravy really depends on how much gravy that you want in there. So if you want a lot of gravy, go ahead and add more water. And because we made that roux, it's gonna thicken up the gravy. And I just wanted to mention that if you want to do the same um, recipe but you want to do it for meat 
you can go ahead and do that with uh, same way that we did this except you would need more time for your beef to cook up so you really want to buy a good um, a good steak or a good meat like um, you know sirloin um, or something that you know that is gonna cook up really nice and fast the only other thing that is left to add in here is our salt I'm just gonna add this in Because it's thickening up and um, you can tell. See? See how nice and thick it's getting? Okay. So it's still going to come up to temperature. In the meantime, let's go ahead and season it with salt and fresh lime. And I'm also going to give it a taste test because I know the Shan Masala will have a little bit of salt in there. So I don't want to. Um, make it really salty go ahead and um, grab a spoon here to give it a taste test and this is not definitely not something that I can eat so, but I'm just going to do a taste test to see if our seasonings are okay no <laughs> they're not okay we need more salt Oh my god, it's so hot. All right. So, there we go. Oh, and I knew something was wrong. So, this is great timing. My gas is finished. And I want to show you how we're going to fill up this gas in here. So, if anybody has had a lot of questions about um, people wanting to buy this, they're available on Amazon. Dot com or they're also available on um, eBay or not eBay but um, buy.com so what you want to do is basically you know you want to turn it off you want to loosen the gauge it's completely empty and you can buy these but it's called butane fuels and you can buy these um, at um, any of the big stores I think Walmart carries it too I usually get it from restaurant depot you want to give it a good shake And then, see where it has this arrow here? We're just gonna line up the arrow with the can, and then it's gonna click. There we go. I'm gonna close it, voila! So, if anybody's interested in buying those, that's exactly, and they're very easy to use, they're very safe to use, and I love it because it's gas. So, I'm just gonna give this one more taste test. because I want to make sure that the salt is um, okay. Mm -hmm. Salt is perfect this time. So let's go ahead and splash our lime in it. And I'm going to do one more taste test just to make sure our lime is good in there. Okay. So it's coming to a boil which is perfect. And every time you must have noticed that I'm not dipping the same spoon in here, so I'm actually not um, being really nice and sharing my bacteria with everybody else. So please keep that in mind when you're cooking. It's really, really essential to be clean and hygienic. So use one spoon that you're not gonna dip there in there. Mm. And the lime <clears throat> has taken it to a whole different level. I absolutely love it, it is fabulous. It's so good, 
Oh my gosh. All right. So now all we have to do is we have to garnish it. So, you know, I think I'm just going to leave it in here because it looks so beautiful in here itself. I'm sorry that was my, um, my um, microwave that's beeping. All right. So to this, I'm just going to take our onions. I'm going to add our caramelized onions on here. And I'm telling you, these onions are so crispy and they are so good. They're so sweet. I, in fact, I've just been thinking about making another um, video on uh, making a grilled cheese sandwich with caramelized onions and kale. So make sure you tune in for that one. Amazing. Oh, so good. Okay. Got that. And I've got our chopped cilantro. Now, I think this looks better than any restaurant. So homemade food restaurant style and I just slivered some um, fresh ginger on it and we're done so I love making um, chicken nihari just because it really does not take long because the chicken cooks up so much faster um, so this concludes our video on how to make um, chicken nihari I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my uh, my version of the Nihari. And I just wanted to say one more thing that if you also if you want that um, the Shan Masala recipe, you can also send me in a comment form on the YouTube videos, and I get that right away, and I'll send you the um, the uh, recipe right away. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. I hope I can see you here next time with another great recipe. Folks, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And if you love this recipe as much as I love it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.